Don't you ever do that again. Remember about the little lever on the steering column? Move that, you can put the steering wheel Smile. wherever you want. But for heaven's sake, don't move it while you're driving. Okay, Dad. Dad, I'm going to be late. The square ones for the ignition, the round ones for the trunk, and don't forget to lock it. Tim, I forgot to tell you. That last button on the arm, that locks up all the windows and, and the doors. And uh, look, don't put any scratches on the car, OK? Uh, drive carefully. Please fasten your seat belts. <laughs> driving a Cadillac yourself one of these days real soon. Please. Yeah, we'll see. Hi, Tim. Oh, my goodness, what a oh, fine-looking couple you two are. You look like you just stepped off the top of a wedding cake. We really got to go. Just one more, just one more. Oh, it just gives me goosebumps looking at the two of you. Oh, sorry, Mom. Fasten your tell you about that gum, mister? I don't know what. I said no more gum. And you got that? I'm sick to death of you gnawing on that garbage and then not being hungry at supper time. That's not so. Wait a minute, fella. Can you just go on? Get out of here. So long, vamoose. Find anything, Mr. Hurlbuck? 
Yes, ma'am. A few things? Yeah? Like what? Like smoking in a food service area? This is the moose, feeling oh so mellow and loose. So put your arms around your favorite memory and hold it close. Two hearts beating as one. Dancing the night away. When they blast away. You got 30 days to comply. Bring these violations oh, come on, up to man. code. You write me up on everything but the color of the toilet paper. You expect me to have it fixed in 30 days? If you need more time, you'll just have to appeal to the county commissioners. How come all of a sudden you're out here nosing around? Just doing my job. Yeah? Tell all those good old boys at the county commission I said you did a real good job, too. You ought to get smart. Hey, Slam, how you been? Who was that? Just more trouble. Thanks. My shoe. Tim. Damn it, I lost my shoe. Forget the shoe. You dark white. Oh. Found my shoe. This is so mature. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Look at my dress. It's wrecked. Destroyed. And my pantyhose. Look at my pantyhose. Bonnie Cannon. Where are we going? We're going to get a tow truck. Here? You want to walk two miles into town? Go right ahead. Knock yourself out. Why are you treating me like this? What have I done? Acting like a pig. Bonnie, I'm warning you, Cannon. OK, fine. I'll just call my father then. Fine. Go ahead and call him. Shit. Give me a break. Excuse me. And here comes behind him, Adam Ball. Jesus H. Casper the ghost. What the hell happened to you? I had some car trouble. I'm looking for a tow truck. <laughs> Looks like you need a car wash. <laughs> we got a tow truck, but you'll have to talk to Mike first. Where's Mike? Inside, watching the derby. Is it okay if I go in? Sure, honey. For three bucks, anybody can go in. Forget it. Go on in. Thank you. <laughs> And here come the two Ponzi brothers. Yeah, we'll never can see them. Where's Mike Cody? Oh, God. Maybe we'll see some of 
some of that fat. And behind him, I'm looking for Mike Cody. Uh, Mike Cody, what do you want? I need a tow truck. What's wrong with your car? It's stalled in the stream. Stalled in the stream? They are kind of half out. in and half out. We are going to have one heck of a medley. Damn. People. Got any money? I'm sure you all have a lot of How money. much? 20 if I don't get wet, 30 if I do? Yeah, sure, whatever. All right, they're all, all right, got to wait a minute. Now, as soon as they line up, take one last look, give them a round of applause, one last now before we start this here race. And here comes the favorite. Slam with me. Slam the Ram Webster. Yeah. All right, there's my favorite boy out there. He's going to do a real good job. Yeah, I'm glad you like him. Uh-oh, oh, here, here comes, comes the one in black, Darth Vader. Mr. Clark? What kind of a demented carrot cat do you think I hopped out of? Look at her! She Dad. looks like you drank to a goddamn barnyard! Horny little Dad, Come on, lover boy! Oh, you it's enough, a mister! That is it between us, sweetheart! Look, buddy, I'll give you 60 seconds to get off my property or I'll kick your tiny nuts up your big fat ass! Sorry, too. Oh, boy. Right, let's go, Missy. I'm not going to forget this, Pearson. You too, your sweetheart. You Roger Pearson, son? Yeah. Hey, hey. Did I miss a good fight? Want to earn 30 bucks? What'd you have in mind? Cut it out. Give Junior here a toe. <laughs> Man, I feel so stupid. Well, boy, you just discovered the oldest sexual position in the book. What? The foolish position. <laughs> Hey, I gotta pull over here for a minute. But you just gotta remember, your brains are between your ears and not your legs. <laughs> hey, Slam! <laughs> Things a little rough out of the speed drone tonight, huh? Yeah. <laughs> My friend here had a little problem out of County Line Bridge. Oh. Out there baiting your hook, huh? Catch anything? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> How's that gorgeous honey of a wife of yours doing, huh? You tell me. Come again? She wasn't here tonight, was she? No, I don't want to get messed up in she other She wasn't here tonight, was she, Mickey? No. I'll see you.
play on that, you? No, it's a burglar. Late, baby. So how'd you do bowling tonight? Claire beat me three times in a row. Not as bad as it looks, Dad. A door is a jar. You should have sold out, Michelle, when your dad died. Look, what if we just cut it in half? Five thousand. I'm sorry, Michelle, but it's business. And at the rate you're going, you're going to be out of business by the end of the summer. All your suppliers have you on a cash basis. There Thanks for your time, violations. Mr. Fleming. Hi. Hi. How are you today? Hi. Thanks for helping me out last night. Okay. Really? Okay. I mean it. Look, I see you. Uh, that's that's a big thermometer. Yep. You want it? No. No, 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 come on, take it. Take them away free. Great. You know, I've always been interested in the weather. I bet. Smooth, Pearson. The weather? Duh. December live hard. Dad! I'll be right out! February 47, 20. That's up a dollar three. February pork belly is up 187 at 6.27. December live cattle up 47 at 62.67. Farm Report is brought to you hourly by Gordon Chemical, your one-stop store for all feed and fertilizer needs. Now back to our musical program. Dad, I'm sorry about your car. You know, a father loaning his car, his first Cadillac to his son. Now, that's not just a father loaning any car to his son. That's a father loaning the symbol of his success, achievement, and victories to his son and saying, here, you take this Cadillac and you drive it proudly up the road of your dreams. But for Christ's sake, don't park the son of a bitch in the middle of a goddamn stream. You understand what I'm getting at? I think you're telling me you don't want me to drive your Cadillac anymore. 
I think we understand each other. Turn. I thought you were going to swim to Bora Bora. I ran out of there. See any more, mate? It's catfish. And I'm so sick of catfish. How am I going to be the next Jacques Cousteau if I'm sitting in a cornfield? So I haven't told your old man yet, huh? you got to tell him you're going to turn down the scholarship. Maybe you should tell him your valedictory address. That would really fry his mind. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow students, distinguished guests, Today is a very special day. Today is a day unlike any other day. Today is a day where we wave hello with one hand and wave goodbye with the other hand. <clears throat> Dinner is on the table. Thank you, Dad. Looks good. Oh, thanks. What's wrong with you? Nothing. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I can't help it. Susan. It's killing me. I can't help it. The conversation is finished. What conversation? It's none of your business. Yeah, they're my boobs. Susan. What boobs? You have boobs? Can it. See, Mom, that's what I mean. You can't even tell I have anything with this dumb thing on. We wear bras in this family, period. We do? I said can. It's canned. It's canned. It took me 13 years to grow these. Oh, my God. And just when they start to show a little, I have to smash them down with a bra? Better smash them flopping. Flopping? I wish they'd flop. I'd pay a million dollars to just wiggle a little. Susan, I'm warning you. They're my boobs, Mom. Breasts. Breast boobs? What's the difference? A lot in your case. Oh, sit on it. Susan. Pam. All right. The conversation is finished. Some conversation? I thought we'd have a little get-together in the backyard after the graduation exercises. Oh, I don't want to have a party. Oh, sure you do. Mom, I would really just like to... Uh. Oh, Dad, gross! Excuse me. <laughs> Television. We've got your favorite video music in stereo. Take care of it. Beat it. Woo! Ah! 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 See a big 
Any gum? What? You got any gum? No. Sorry. Damn. You work here? Yup. Me and my mom. She sells the hot dogs, takes ticket money. I drive the fourth wheel. That's my job. Nobody can do it but me. If you want to drive in a derby, well, what do you got to do? Just put it in reverse and go like crazy. Kabam! That's it, huh? Mash them up. Well, where do you get the cars? I got some back there. I got a, what do they call it? The front of it looks like a rocket ship. Studebakers, you know Studebakers? Yeah, sure. Well, it's kind of a Studebaker. It's got a Buick engine in it. It's a Studebuick. Here comes the Studebuick. They don't make them anymore. All out. You want that one? How much you want for You can't sell my cars, cowboy. You know that. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Why not? Because they're mine, not yours. They are too mine. Look, just go back to the trailer and I'll fix your supper. I ain't hungry. Just do what I say. Go. Now, go. Come here. What? You got something in your ear. Thanks, Mike. I didn't mean to get him in any trouble. You didn't. What can I do for you? I want to drive in a derby. Why? Thought it'd be some fun, that's all. Gotta be 18. No sweat, I turned 18 last month. Look, some other time. Does that mean no? It means some other time. If you don't take my word for it, go ask your dad. What does he have to do with it? Go home. Cody. What about her? Well, I went out to the speed drum today to... I don't want you to go out there. Why? I just don't. You got it? Got what? What's going on? Nothing is going on. Do you have to resist everything that I ever say to you? Dad, I'm not resisting you. It's just I like something better than no. Who are you resisting now with that attitude? You always turn everything around, Dad. Oh, now don't use that psychology today routine on me. I'm not in the mood for it. Dinner's on. Let's go eat. I'm not hungry. Susan, let's eat. Susan, let's eat. You don't have to yell, guys. Everyone always yelling at me. I'm not bothering anyone. I'm sick of everyone always yelling at me. Slam, there's a Hunger Man dinner in the oven. Where are you going? I told you. Told me what? I'm going marketing, honey. Dressed like that? Well, I was going to go naked with my ass sticks to the car seat. Bye, honey. Hey, 
Mikey. Well, hidey, hidey, ho, Mikey. I haven't seen you in a long time. Uncle Bob, how you doing? Oh, my back's killing me. Every time I piss, it burns like I got a butane lighter stuck up my ass. Otherwise, everything's just peachy. How are you? I'm making it. What's he drinking tonight? A beer. You got it. How's Aunt Winnie? Oh, hell, she's fine. I need to ask you a favor. Shoot. I need to borrow some money. OK. How much you need, kiddo? $10,000. $10,000? I love you, I truly do, but... Oh, Winnie would pass a kidney stone if I loaned you anything like that. I know. You don't have to explain. I know I don't, damn it, but I'm... Well, I'm just sorry. Hell, you were better off out in oh, California. Oh, please. Now listen to me. You are smart and you are pretty and you could be or do almost anything in the world you wanted to. But oh no, 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 not you. You're gonna hold your head up high. Well, let me just tell you something. When you're neck deep in shit, you got no choice but, but to, to hold, hold your head, your up, head high. up high. I am my father's daughter. What's going on? Quiet down back there. Give me another round. Listen, I'm gonna slam you the hell out of here if you break that damn game. Give me another round. No way, Jose. Oh, shit, I'll get it myself. Oh. Come on, I'll take you home. All right. Yeah, bullshit. All right, all right. Come on. Oh. Right. Look, you want to fight? I don't hit women. You Good. I don't hit drunks. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, everybody. There's only two kinds of drunks. Those that are sorry and those that soon will be. You think you can handle him all right? Yeah, no problem. Uh, oh. I think he gets antsy on you. He just wrap his head on the pavement a couple of times. What's that? Five hundred dollars. Now, when he doesn't know about it. The eternal revenue doesn't know about it. Nobody knows about it, and that's just the way I want to keep it. I can't take it. Sure you can, and I just put it in your pocket. Oh, God damn. Come on. Come on out. Get out. Lamb? Lamb! Wait a minute. No, Lamb, this way. Come on. You love anybody, Mike? Yeah, I guess so. You ever love me? You're drunk. I know that. I'm just asking you a question. Hey, you know, you are a beautiful woman. Think about it, Slam, because I'll kick your ass drunk or sober. God damn it, you're hostile. I'm not going to jump on you. Could get it up right now if you were a pair of twins in a vat of Mazzolo. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Time we all went skinny dipping out the lake. Uh-uh. Oh, come on, you know. Night your old man caught us trying to rip off the keg of beer from the concession stand. That was a long time ago, Slam. Man. I had a crush on you. You always treated me like I had the plague. It's because you're so goddamn weird. You always scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Hell, you broke Lynn Reynolds' nose when he tried to get in your pants. I didn't break yours. No, you just broke my heart when you ran off that jerk-off dope head. Mike. OK. 
case. <laughs> Are you sick? I don't know. Maybe I ought to call it and head home. Yeah, maybe you ought to. You don't look so hot. Car, both of you now. Wait a second, Ernie. I said get out of the car. It's not what you. It's not what I want. I suppose the grease ball there is just a fucking figment of my imagination, right? Slam. This is Donnie. We were just. You were just buffing him in my bed, weren't you? My goddamn bed in my goddamn house. I'm warning you. Get out of the goddamn car now! Hey, pal, why don't you just cool off a few degrees? You talking to me, pal? Better move huh? the truck, pal. Move the pickup right now. What, do you think you're going somewhere? Get out of the car. Damn it, move the pickup! I'll give you to the count of five to get out of that car. Stop it, Ernie! One. Get your hands off the car. Two. Three. Four. Fire! Hey, I'm warning you. Oh, yeah? Stop it, you son of a bitch! Just get out of the car, pal. Fuck you, Jake. You're nuts. Oh, yeah? You want to see nuts? I'll show you nuts. This is nuts, pal! Oh, shit. You hit? Does a duck have lips? Okay, now you sure nobody wants to press charges against nobody else? Well, in that case, have a nice day. Come on, I'll give you right home. Candy, look, hey. You just stay away from me. I'll get home on my own. What are you doing here? Oh, I can't go home. Did you kick you out? Well, my ass. Got some uh, peace bond thing sworn out on me. Not only can I sleep in my own bed with my own wife, I gotta fucking stay 50 feet away from her. Like I was supposed to carry a goddamn tape measure around with me or something. What happened? 
poor judgment on my part. <laughs> Did you beat her up? Hell no. I beat up her boyfriend's car. <laughs> He sells washing machines over in Cartersville. He's one of these slick creeps, you know, with all them gold chains and a copper tone tan. You've got the worst taste in women of any man I've ever known. I will screw you, and thanks a lot. But all of a sudden, you're an expert on marriage to the divorced old maid. At least I'm not afraid of being alone. Or whatever it is that's spooking you so bad, you'd rather eat it and babysit some little teas. Oh, hell, Mike. I know a lot of girls playing the same game as Candy. Suckering some airhead like you in a plain house. She loves me, goddammit. That's why she's slipping and sliding around with a washing machine salesman, right? Oh, you are something else, woman. I mean, she's young. And this guy, Danny or Dinky or Dipshit or whatever the fuck his name is, he's got a snowed over with some act. And she fell for it. She doesn't know what she's doing. Bull. Well, you can't tell me that I don't love her. You don't. Oh, God damn it, Mike. I love her. She loves me. I mean, I, I do things for her. I shovel gravel five days a week on some kidney shaking machine that gives me hemorrhoids the size of watermelon. Then you zip out here and spend every minute you got free away from her running in the derby. Well, what am I supposed to do? I mean, this place is the only thing that makes me different from almost everybody else. I like to smash cars, and I am damn good at it. You know, you're telling the wrong woman. You know, you shouldn't eat toast with braces on your teeth. Makes your mouth look like a garbage disposal. Looks like you're carrying your lunch in there. God, you are so warped. Me? You know, if puberty was a terminal disease, you'd be the poster child? Oh, go stop dead bicycle seat. Susan. Are you on drugs? What? A little bit of a problem is you better get yourself straight. No, by the way, don't forget. You gotta wear a tie and a jacket for the picture tonight. What picture? You got a brain up there or a paperweight? Dad, do I have to? Yes, damn it, you have to. I'm a county commissioner, and you're the class valedictorian, and we're gonna have our picture taken together, whether you like it or not. Yes, sir. You better straighten out that attitude of yours, mister, or you and me are gonna go to the map. I believe that the most important skill you've acquired in this institution, and I hope you have acquired it, is the ability to communicate by language, orally, you'd gone into a coma. <laughs> hey, is he finished yet? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I got your dress, Mike. Thanks, cowboy. Are you going to a party? Mm-mm. Going to county commission meeting tonight. Are they gonna have ice cream there? No. Nope. They're not? Uh-uh. I don't want to go there. Guess I have to go without you. Yes, so. Put that in my trailer for me, OK? Hi, Slim. Hey, cowboy, put him up. <laughs> Mr. Cutch! You! What do you say? 
For everything? Yep. Including that pile of batteries and tires back there? No, that's another deal. Hey there. Hi, Slam. How's it going? Look, I'm real busy right now. What's up? Um, I was just thinking that maybe we could go out to dinner tonight. I thought you were a married man. Just dinner, that's all. Getting even with candy. Oh, damn it. I'm not trying to get even. I'm trying to ask you for a date. You remember dates, don't you? I never remember you asking me for one. This is going over like a fart in church. Say 3,000. Three and a half. Three and a half? Hey, look, I'll see you later, OK? Look, Slam, I'd like to go. Really? I just, I'm busy tonight. Look, 3,250, including the batteries and tires. Three and a half with the tires and batteries. How about if we have a drink after the derby tomorrow? Yeah, sure, OK. Yeah, if you want to. OK. I'll see you. Three and a half for everything, including the batteries and tires. Draw. Oh, you got me. I did. Three and a half. Take or leave it. I'll take it. Great. That's the best you can do, huh? Shirt, tie, and jacket. Yep. Dad, one of these days your stomach's gonna melt down. It'll be like the China syndrome will burn a hole right through you. Oh, that's a pleasant thought. Dad, what would you think if I didn't work for you this summer and I took some time off? Time off? I need to do some things, see some things. Oh, great. I'll sell the house and we'll buy you a ticket on the next space shuttle. I'm being serious, Dad. Seriously disturbed. I need to get away from here. I need some time. Let me tell you something. Losers never have enough time. Winners have all the time in the world. Oh, boy. That is exceptionally high yield for this year. Dad, listen to me. Oh, we're going to be late. Dad, I'm going to turn down that scholarship to ISU. I want to go to school in Florida and study oceanography. You what? Now, you listen to me. Hey there. I got, uh, Randy, how are you this evening? Gentlemen, let's just take a minute. Why don't we step in the meeting hall? I'll grab a few quick ones. Who died, Tim? Come on, let's have a smile. That's it. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Randy. Our pleasure. Once this meeting is over, you and I are going to sit down. We're going to get our wires straight. You got it? I'll see you later. Oh, wait, hold on. Right here. Go over to the office. I got some roll aids on the desk. Would you bring them over here, please? Yes, sir. Sure will. Hi. <laughs> That's just another one of four or five examples of uh, great potential for personal injury. And of course, the county would be uh, liable to lawsuit in those situations. I guess that's just about everything I've got. Any questions? Thank you, Larry. Mike, Miss Cody, are any comments you'd like to make? My dad built a speed drome in 1967. And since then, we've had our share of cuts and bruises and splinters and bumped heads, but no more than any other place of business. The only fatality we ever had was when my dad died last year of his heart attack. What I'm trying to get at is that there's a big difference between run down and unsafe. But I'll do whatever you want. I just need the time. I need the time to raise the money and do the repairs. Now, I have some estimates here. Well, in light of Mr. Hurlbuck's report, I myself have some difficulty in seeing how we can go about granting you more time. Six months. Just give me six months. If I haven't done everything by then, you can shut me down. We're supposed to waive the interest of the public safety for another six months? That would leave the county in a very tough position if we... Look, can we cut the crap? What's really going on here is you guys want to put me out of business, right? Let's keep our hats on. I move that we vote on the motion before us, all in favor of granting... I don't quit so easy, Mr. Pearson. You ought to know that by now. Especially since you've had your eye on my dad's property ever since he died.
My bags weren't unpacked yet. His body wasn't cold yet. And you were on my doorstep doing your let's make a deal routine. I resent that. That has no bearing on... On what? On the fact that you've managed to buy or option every single piece of property around me? Now, you'll either calm yourself down or I'll adjourn this damn meeting and we'll vote on this in private. Just tell me why you want to shut me down so damn bad you'll use this line of bullshit to do it. They want to build a country club there. It's all right here. They want to build a golf course and a clubhouse. You not only blew my ass out of the water, Mr. Smart Guy, you blew your own ass sky high. Because if this deal falls through and I'm left holding the bag, I am bankrupt, busted, kaput. Can I have a word with you, Roger? Uh, yeah, I'll be right with George. Oh. Oh, God damn it to hell. This was my dream. You and me sitting pretty with our own development of fine homes surrounding a, a private country club with a state-of-the-art golf course. And now, thanks to you, I have a half a dozen chicken farms to run in a goddamn demolition derby. Honesty is the best policy. Remember that one, Dad? Liars are losers. Remember that one, Dad? Well, you better. We'll finish this at home. No, we'll finish it here, because I'm not going home. And there's got to be a way to smooth things down. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Where are you going? I'm just going. Look, I appreciate what you did. I mean it. I'm going to Ruby's. Want a hamburger? Why'd you do it? You knew what? Save my ass like that. This stuff's terrible. Tasty, but terrible. When I was in high school, we started this big room that the burgers here were made out of horse meat. Horse meat? Mm-hmm. We just sort of slapped off here for a while. Would you do me a favor? Sure. I gave you the money. Would you buy me a bottle of wine? Thanks, Kay. Changes in the sack. Thank you. So what are you going to do? Get smashed. <laughs> At home? Are you kidding? Where are you going to go? Probably to the park. You know, if you need a place to crash. I'll be all right. OK. Thanks. You sure? Corkscrew at your place? So where'd you get this? California. California? I used to live there with my husband. You're married? Divorced. You hit the spot? Yeah. So how old are you? 27. Are you sensitive about your age? No. You just don't like to talk about it, right? Why'd you come back here? California, everybody's from someplace else. Everybody from here is from here. I like that. 
like this town. I like this town too. It's just I can't do what I want here. So is this you? This picture. Yeah. I was a little girl. My dad told me that I was the last living descendant of Wild Bill Cody. I should be proud. Something to brag about, he said. When I was about 13, I did some digging. And I found out that there's a Buffalo Bill Cody and a wild Bill Hickok. Whoever in the hell wild Bill Cody was, he wasn't my relative. I was just Mike Cody. Mild males full of beans. You know, I never told him I knew that. I never did. You want to drive in the derby tomorrow night? I don't have a car. I got cars. So what are you going to do? Right now? Today? And tomorrow and the next day. There's this guy in the open Chicago who owns this uh, scuba diving school. Then I figure I'd go up there and get a job. And then I want to go to Florida to do this dolphin study thing. Why don't you just go straight to Florida? Because I'd be lucky to swing the bus to get to Chicago.
Why? I forgot the advantages of being an 18 year old girl. Doing it in cars? Doing it with 18 year old guys. You expecting somebody? I'm not here to pick up the cars. I'm selling all my cars. Shit, I forgot. All right, all right, hold your horses. Hold yours, too. Hey, hey, Slim. rise and shine, sleeping beauty. What are you doing here? I woke up this morning, got dressed, uh -huh. drove over to Ruby's like I've done a million goddamn times. Especially since Candy couldn't cook anything that wasn't frozen or sealed in petroleum byproducts. And I suddenly realized that I would rather eat a maggot casserole and gag on one more chili dog. So here, we got the makings of a real old-fashioned American breakfast. We got bacon, we got eggs, real eggs, we got spuds for some home fries, we got orange juice, we got Maxwell House coffee, good to the last drop, and last but not least, Hillbilly bread, it's colossal. None of this whole wheat hippie rabbit food bullshit, just plain old white bread. Kid, God well, damn, you're making it with the high school kid? Calm down. Oh, what the hell am I supposed to do, huh? Make breakfast in bed for the two of you? All I have to do is call first. Oh, sure, so you can hand me some crap about being busy. So fucking dumb. That's the reason you couldn't go out with me last night, isn't it? No, that's not why. Bullshit. Look, I'm sorry. Can we just talk? You pissed me off! Kind of mad, doesn't he? Born mad. I'm really sorry. I. I'm gonna go into town. Take the tow truck. It's okay, I can hitch. No, it's okay. I just stick around here all day anyway. Sex great. I thought you had an accident or got sick or drunk or went dippy and jumped into the water. And what is this business about ditching your last day of school? I'm leaving, Dad. I'm catching the bus to Chicago. That's the way it ends? I mean, you just, uh, you run away? No, I'm just leaving. 
Right, Tim. All right, maybe I went a bit overboard and I did things the way I shouldn't have. And you got a right to be mad. And I don't know what to say. But business is hard. Sometimes you get off center and you screw up. All right, I'm sorry. Damn it, I am sorry. Look, give ISU a year, just a year. Give it a shot. And after that, we'll talk about the uh, oceanography thing. No, thanks. Well, damn it, what's wrong with this town anyway? Nothing. And maybe I'll come back here sometime, Dad. But if I do, it'll be because I want to. Not because I'm afraid of the rest of the world. That's what I hate about Grandview, Dad, is all the bullets says, don't go out there. Or you won't make it. They'll eat you alive. I don't buy it. That's my valedictory speech. This is the answering machine of Candy Webster. Ernie Webster no longer resides with this number, thank Son God. Of a bitch. So just wait for the beep and leave a message. Bye. Yeah, this is uh, Ernie Webster speaking. I'm coming by tomorrow to pick up my clothes and personal items, so consider yourself duly warned. And if you know what's good for you, make sure you and your Maytag boyfriend have evacuated the premises. 10-4, Roger, over and out. That's all, folks. Son of a bitch. Better hit the road, Jack. Cops are on their way. Andy! She don't want to talk to you. I'm gonna pay, you son of a bitch. You are gonna pay! Fuck you, pal. She's gonna divorce your crazy ass and take every cent you got. Every cent, pal. Even this house. So you lose, buckwheat. Here she is. That is my house! Well, we'll see about that. Just wait. Just wait, you crippled donkey dick. Just wait! Yeah, well, why don't you wait, pal? Because I think I hear the cops coming right now. <laughs> sure you got all the slips for these here? Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, I'm trying to find Slam Webster. Yeah, Ernie Webster, right. Okay. Hey, Mike, we're still short about uh, ten title slips. If they're not there, I don't know where they are. All right, when he gets back, will you have him call Mike Cody? No! You get down off of there! <laughs> They're my car. You say you're sorry. They're taking my car. No, sir. They are not your cars, and they never have been. Now, you're in deep shit, mister. You better say you're sorry. No! No! Cowboy! Leave him be. Cowboy! I forgot to tell him I sold the cars. I didn't think to tell him myself. He'll work it out on his own. Oh. Hey, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, well, I'm all right. Yeah, well. Hey, don't you think it's about time we open up this clip joint for business? Well, howdy do, folks, and welcome to Cody's Beat Drum, home of the Demolition Derby. Remember, you still got a couple of minutes to crawl on over to Big Betty's Tomain Pit, home of the famous dysentery fondue. Our special tonight is Polynesian muskrat with dirty white sauce. Try it with a side of deep fat fried reach ribs. But seriously, folks, Big Betty has an excellent selection of fine foods. Some like corn, hamburgers, 
You know, if you still want to go out, I'd like to. I see your high school boyfriend there's running in the derby tonight. So? So if you want to turn this into kitty cars, that's your business. Okie dokie, Derby fans. We're going to have another smash em up evening like we do every Friday and Saturday night. So uh, let's get right on down to it. Would everyone please rise for our national anthem? <laughs> Don't worry about him. Or, now you remember, you break off your flag the minute you're out of the running. Because as long as it's up, you're fair game. Got it? Piece of cake. Careful. Of a bitch. Mike, I'm okay. You were trying to win. You just had it out have... for him. Mike, I just got the wind knocked out of me. No problem. Get off the track. Mike, I'm okay. Get off the track, Slim. All right. All right, I'm going. Screw it. I don't like the way the rules keep changing anyway. Well, folks, we seem to be, uh, everything seems to be all right. We're out of danger here, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through a short cleanup so we can all please Come on. take your time and head on over to it. Betty's Tomain Shack and try some of that Polynesian mustard.
No. 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 Baby doll. I said Miss Baby doll. Miss Baby doll.
you still going to Chicago tomorrow? Got my ticket. You love him, don't you? He's crazy. No. Oh, no. What happened? Jesus, I don't know, Mike. I was working on the book, and all of a sudden, the whole place was on fire. How could you do this? Tim. Mike. Believe me, I had nothing to do with this. God, I'm sorry any of this ever happened. Mike! Hey, Mike! Come here, I got something to show you. Bell's wide open. There was padlock. Who all's got a key to this lock? Cowboy. My car's away. <laughs> ah, this was our home. Sorry. You want to ride back to town?
What happened to you? Speed drop burnt down last night. No. To the ground. What are you gonna do? It all depends. On what? I better let you out of here. What? All drives keep low, okay? Come on, boys, all drives keep low. Listen, you know, I make like halfway decent money, and if we save, we can rebuild the speed drone better than ever. I'm gonna sell it. Well, why? To Roger Pearson. I think he's ready to make me a fair deal now. Get us off to a good start. I know how to get us off to a good start. I gotta ask you something. What? I'll tell you on the way there. On the way where? Come on. Wait up. Okay, Mom. Take good care of yourself. Eat well. I will. Not too much junk food. Take care of it's hey, you gonna miss the parade, man. I guess so. See you, Bonnie. Bye, Tim. Give you a kiss goodbye, but I don't want to give you my spinal meningitis. You know? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm from Chicago. Hey, you call collect. Okay, Dad. We love you. I don't. Oh. Boy, am I gonna miss you. Fall out of your seat. Come on. For just a minute, Slim. Come on. Just I didn't mean to. Just move it. Slam, I, I just. Happy trails, partner. We're going the wrong direction, kid. Come here. What's this? Money. For what? For you, for that dolphin cruise in Florida. Turn around. Put this in the mail, and the car's yours. Here. Get going, you have a long drive. I'm gonna pay you back. We're even, kid. Thanks, Slam. Get it. Besides reverse gear shot, damn thing only moves forward. Can I drop you guys off? No, nope, we're going to the parade. See ya. Drop us a car. 